My, my first inf instrument was the voice. I, I started singing pretty young, like probably about four years old. And then I stopped when my voice changed and I picked up the harmonica because I thought it was really close to the voice. I am mostly self-taught on the instrument, the harmonica. I've had one or two uh, teachers, but most of what I've learned over the years, I, I learned it on my own. But I am trained in terms of like harmonies, counterpoint, uh, with I guess classical music and jazz. And I've studied in conservatories in Geneva and then at the New School in New York. So I, I've really studied quite in depth music, you know, not, it's not just something that I just improvised, I, I really took, took it really seriously and, and really studied. Absolutely, I had many, many mentors that were very important to me uh, in my growth. Uh, the first one in New York I would name is Nar Arnie Lawrence, who used to be one of the main teachers at the New School and would always take young kids that he liked and kind of get them to perform live in New York with him. And he did that with many kids over, over the years, over like what, 20 or 30 years that he was at the New School. And um, I have people also back in Switzerland that helped me tremendously when I was still in high school. Uh, one is uh, Philippe Dragonetti. And, uh, but there's many people really, also musicians that I got to play with, like Jimmy Scott, little Jimmy Scott. He was one of the first kids that I got when I, I moved to New York, and he taught me a lot. Uh, I would have to name also Jackie Terrason, uh, and there's many, many people. Uh, Federico Gonzalez Peña, who was the musical director for Michel and the uh, Mino Sinelu, Cassano Wilson, you know. Uh, Terry Lynn Carrington, all those people really helped me tremendously. Yeah, I mean, you, my first paid gig in Switzerland, I do remember as well as my first paid gig in New York. Um, well, when I first started playing with Arnie Lawrence in New York, he would kind of pay us, not much, but we would get a little something. And then as, you know, things progressed, I, I started to play a little bit more, maybe traveling a little bit, where suddenly the money was a bit, a little bit better, I would say. So I do remember that, but it took a long time for me to, to get to a place where I could really make a living as a musician. You know, it took me years, really. And um, as in Switzerland, because the scene is pretty small, I started to do pretty well quite rapidly. Like, before I moved to New York, I was already yeah. getting paid decently to, to play in clubs and festivals, so that was pretty good. Yeah. Hi, this is Grégoire Marais. For more videos, go to jazztime.com.